and welcome to the Pippin Pin Podcast Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about placing and using stitch markers. Um, a stitch marker can be anything really. Um, usually it's something circular um, as long as it's big enough to fit on your needle. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, it can be a little bit bigger. Um, this is just going to be a marker for, it can be used for lots of things. It can be used at the beginning of a round if you're working in the round. It can be used to um, section off parts of your knitting. So say you're doing one pattern over here, well then you can place your marker and then you know to switch to this pattern or lots of different things. Um, commonly, it is abbreviated as PM for place marker. Um, marker itself, just by itself, is M. There can be remove marker, RM. Uh, slip marker, SM, uh, all these terms should be included in your pattern. Um, they may be a little bit different, but they should all be included. So to place your marker, what you're going to do is knit or just work to where it says to place your marker. So say my pattern says knit four stitches, PM. So I'm going to knit four stitches. And then to place the marker, all you're going to do is grab it and slip it onto your right hand needle. And then continue knitting. That's it. It's not gonna get caught on your knitting or anything because it is just on the needle. It doesn't go through any of the, the loops or anything. So I'll knit a little bit here and then I'll show you what we do when we come to it on the next row. All right, so I'm coming up to my marker here again on my left needle. Um, I'm working in stockinette stitch, so I'm purling this row. Um, so I'm just going to purl right up to my stitch marker and then move the stitch marker from my left needle to my right needle. That's it. That's called slipping a marker. And some patterns will, depending on the pattern, it may say to slip the marker. Um, a lot of the time it won't. It's just. Um, when you come to it, you slip it. Especially if it's at the beginning or end of a round. Um, if you're working in the round, it's always just going to be there. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. For more knitting tutorials, be sure to check out the Pip and Pin podcast on YouTube. Thank you.